Next, we'll go through some examples of material fits and discuss how to modify the settings in each case to obtain a better fit, as well as some material fitting tips. In the first example, we can see the fit does not match the data very well. The quality of the fit can be improved by increasing the number of coefficients from 4 to 10. Next, suppose we want a better fit for the imaginary part of the permittivity. Currently, we can see that the fit to the real part is much better than the imaginary part. This is simply because the real part is larger, so it contributes more to the RMS error. To improve the fit to the imaginary part, click Show Advanced and increase the imaginary weight from 1 to 30. This will put more emphasis on getting a good fit to the imaginary part, possibly at the expense of a slightly worse fit to the real part. The fit is now much closer to the imaginary data. In this example, the fit initially looks fine, but a careful inspection shows some extra peaks in the fit. The experimental data contains some noise, and the fitting routine is attempting to fit that noise. Assuming that this feature is noise and not the re real material property, it's best not to include this feature in the material fit and the features can be removed by reducing the number of coefficients from 15 to 4.